குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl good morning students in this session we are going to start the most important chapter part in biomolecules proteins actually in carbohydrate point of view only two examples of monosaccharide glucose and fructose already i explained complete information in my previous session about glucose and fructose but uh, that is only monosaccharide but actually uh, munadi in from the carbohydrates oligosaccharides also there what is the oligosaccharides sucrose maltose galactose these are also there but in this academic year deleted that portion that's why only two monosaccharide one is a glucose second one is a fructose structures are very important even carbohydrate uses also deleted the so that's why from the carbohydrate only two part number one glucose uh, cyclic structure or harvard projection structure and uh, fructose cyclic structure and a uh, harvard projection structure so that part is completed successfully now the second biomolecule is the uh, proteins so proteins uh, complete information is there so that's why my students every students focused very seriously in this particular part so proteins what is the proteins see here proteins are the most abundanted biomolecule of the living system most abundanted biomolecules in the living system the chief sources of proteins are milk cheese pulses fish meat nuts etc so that's why my dear student the important part is proteins are the most abundanted biomolecule in the living system out of the all biomolecules proteins are the pay, to play very important key role in the living system okay so the high protein sources high high protein sources and uh, cheap cheap uh, easily to available this proteins especially in the milk cheese pulses fish meat nuts etc Uh, all, uh, you know that very well beans uh, bean seeds also having nuts nothing but nuts bean seeds also having huge percentage of the proteins now see here second point important one second point proteins are occurring every day in our body compulsory compulsory proteins are occurring every day in our body it is used in fundamental growth maintenance of the body so what is the importance of the proteins in your human, human body na fundamental growth maintenance of the human body if any one of the person deficiency of the protein definitely struggle different type of the health problem so that's why my dear students proteins are occur in every day in our body it is used in the fundamental growth maintenance of the body especially it's used where in the fundamental growth maintenance of the body next third point seen na proteins word is derived from the greek word proteos 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 means primary or primary importance so proteins out of the all biomolecule proteins are major important or primary important in the living system such as human beings so that's why the word is derived from the greek language the name is a proteos proteos is nothing but primary or primary importance and ultimately the most important key point all proteins are polymers of 
alpha amino acid alpha amino acid you know that my dear students amino acids generally amino acids basic building of the basic building units of the proteins the number of amino acids are connected together through the covalent bond to form one protein that's why or protein lo for example hemoglobin is one of the protein 574 amino acids are present in the hemoglobin protein that's why amino acids are the basic building units of the protein this is an introduction of the protein once again nana protein is the most abundant biomolecule in the living system the chief sources of the proteins are milk cheese pulses fish meat nuts etc and actually what is the uses of proteins in our body the fundamental growth maintenance of the human body fundamental growth maintenance of the human body the, this word is derived from the greek word like proteus it means primary importance and primary but uh, next important point is all proteins are polymers of combination all proteins are polymer the combination of the alpha amino acids or alpha amino acids this is a introduction part now we are going to study before we are going to uh, discuss about the protein first you can understanding what is the amino acid how many types of amino acid because of the amino acid combination a protein the combinations of number of amino acid because of number of amino acids are connected to through covalent bond to form one polymer that polymer is nothing but the proteins so proteins are nothing but the number of combinations of the amino acids alpha amino acids okay na now we are going to teach uh, amino acids amino acids so now see nana here amino acids are the basic building units of the proteins already said amino acids are the basic building units of the proteins their molecule possess both chemicals what are the chemicals amino chemical and carboxylic acid so romba important point enna na amino acid mean the combination of amino group and carboxylic acid group amino group is nothing but nh2 and carboxylic acid group is nothing but cooh cooh so amino acid means the combinations of the combinations of amino group and carboxylic acid group so number of amino acids are connected to covalent bond to form the protein amino acid is nothing but two functional groups are there number 1 is a amino functional group number 2 is a carboxylic acid functional group so already i mentioned here clearly the amino acids present in the proteins are alpha amino acids so all especially proteins containing alpha amino acid this is the introduction part of the amino acid once again nana amino acids are the basic building units of the protein if you take any one of the protein number of amino acids are present in that particular protein with polymer chain polymeric chain so and what kind of the chemicals are present in the amino acids amino group and carboxylic acid group that's why every protein what kind of amino acids are connected together or linked together na number of alpha amino acids number of alpha amino acids this is a introduction part of the amino acids now see here structure of alpha amino acid structure of alpha amino acid see nana the nh2 group and coh group attaches to the alpha carbon ammonia group and carboxylic acid group attaches to the alpha carbon that is called alpha amino acid alpha amino acid so only one carbon is present here one carbon directly attaches to the amino group and carboxylic group that carbon is called alpha carbon that amino acid name is the alpha amino acid now see here this is a structure so this is alpha carbon alpha carbon right side functional group cooh principal functional group is there 
left side amino group is there this is a side chain or is represented side chain and hydrogen this, this is the structure of amino acid na, na. structure of amino acids important point na structure of amino acids what is alpha amino acids the ammonia group and cooh group directly connected with single carbon na, that amino acid name is alpha amino acids okay na, na. next one classification of amino acids this is a important in two mark point of view or four mark point of view my dear students classification of amino acids now amino acid basically three types based uh, based on the different manner amino acids are basically three types first one is based on the position of nh2 group it means nh2 group where is located in the amino acid based on that information one classification and second one is based on number of amino acids sorry based on number of amino group and acid group so how many number of amino groups are there or how many number of acid groups are there acid group is nothing but cooh groups are there based on this information one classification is there so listen carefully first classification position of nh2 group so where is located nh2 group one classification of amino acid second one is number of nh2 groups or number of cooh groups present in the amino acid one more classification is there and uh, final classification based on the availability of amino acids where is availability naturally available or artificially available based on this information one more classification is there so ultimately my dear student amino acid three classification number one is the based on the position of nh2 group number two one based on the number of amino acid groups and acid amino group and acid group third one based on the availability of the amino acid based on the availability of the amino acids so the first one is based on the position of nh2 group these are again three types my dear students important ma these are again three types number one alpha amino acid number two beta amino acid number three gamma amino acid so alpha amino acid beta amino acid gamma amino acid based on the position of nh2 group so where is located nh2 group based on that information the amino acids are basically three types number one alpha amino acid number two beta amino acid number three gamma amino acid so now see here example alpha amino acid now alpha amino acid means you know that very well for only one car this carb see na the nh2 group directly connected with single carbon na nh2 group directly connected with single carbon na not only nh2 group even cooh group also so this is alpha carbon so this is compound name is alpha amino acid because where is located this position one degree manner here this this one, uh, one only one degree manner that's why is alpha amino acids and beta amino acid see here carefully cooh group connected with this carbon this carbon again connected with one more ch2 group next here nh2 is there so here uh, here beta beta connected the nh2 group is connected with beta carbon that's why this amino acid name is the beta amino acids beta amino acids and gamma amino acids means this is alpha carbon this is a beta carbon this is a gamma carbon so the ammonia group directly attaches to the gamma carbon na so this amino acid name is the gamma amino acid gamma amino acid is very important to me alpha amino acid beta amino acid and gamma amino acid here this classification only based on the position of nh2 group position of nh2 group in this first example the nh2 group directly attaches to the alpha carbon that's why it is alpha amino acid here the nh2 group directly attaches to the beta carbon so this is a beta beta amino acid here alpha amino acid directly attaches to the gamma carbon so this is a gamma amino acid so this is a based on the position of 
ammonia group three different type of amino acids are there alpha amino acids beta amino acids and uh, gamma amino acids okay now so next one second classification already uh, first one is completed based on the position of nh2 group next second one based on number of nh2 group and number of cooh group or amino acid how many number of nh2 groups are there or how many number of the cooh groups are there based on this classification these are again three types these are again three types number one is a neutral amino acid number two is a as uh, acidic amino acid number 3 is a basic amino acid here this classification based on the number of nh2 groups or number of cooh group number of nh2 group and number of cooh group the amino acid basically three types neutral amino acid examples important thambi neutral amino acids acidic amino acids and basic amino acid sometimes they are asking in question uh, in board like exams point of view uh, give me one examples of neutral amino acid what is the amino define amino neutral amino acid such kind of the questions are frequently coming in the different type of the competitive entrance exams and also board exam so that's why every student seriously focused on this particular area second classification of the amino acid so the based on number of nh2 groups and cooh group first one neutral amino acids what is the neutral amino acid the amino acids contains only one amino 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 group only one nh2 group and only one cooh group such kind of amino acids are called neutral amino acids romba important ma neutral amino acids means such kind of amino acid contains only one nh2 group and one cooh group such kind of amino acids are called neutral amino acids neutral amino acids is nothing but the amino acids contains only one nh2 group and only one cooh group it's called neutral amino acid now see here see here in this compound nh2 ch2 cooh so left side only one amino group is there right side only one cooh group is there this amino acid name is a uh, glycine important na na glycine is one of the important amino acid it's belonging to the neutral amino acid category why it's belonging to the neutral amino acid category because of the glycine contains only one nh2 group and only one cooh group so if any one of the amino acid made up of the only single amino nh2 group or cooh group it's a category of the neutral amino acid that's why glycine is the best example of neutral amino acid keep it in your mind na glycine dash category of the amino acid neutral amino acid because of only one nh2 group only one cooh group is there next second example see here nh2 ch ch3 cooh here additional one substituent is there methyl group substituent but functional groups are amino group only one and carboxylic acid group only one so here also in this example only one amino acid is there amino group is there only one cooh group is there so this compound name this amino acid name is the valine valine romba important ma structure of valine nh2 ch ch3 cooh cooh and the structure of the glycine nh2 ch2 cooh and one more example from the neutral amino acid category see nana uh, alanine alanine examples are romba important ma alanine nh2 c ch3 ch3 cooh even this example is also only one amino group and only one carboxylic acid group so there is no extra amino group there is no extra cooh group that's why these three examples are belonging to the neutral amino acids what are the example ma basically glycine valanine or alanine valine glycine valine alanine these three examples are neutral amino acids what is the neutral amino acid the amino acid made up of only one nh2 group and only one cooh group such kind of the amino acids are commonly known as the neutral amino acids it's clear ma 
good because of why uh, this part is very important in both point of view even in commutative entrance point of view examples so glycine valanine or al alanine is the best examples of the neutral amino acid in commutative entrance point of view, how they are asking the question uh, in the which is the acidic amino acid in the following option which is the acidic amino acid in the following options are such kind of the questions are generally coming in the board level or uh, even uh, commutative entrance level is also next one acidic amino acids acidic amino acids mean the amino acids contain two cooh group two carboxylic acid group only one amino group it's nothing but here cooh is greater than nh2 important them if one amino acid contain cooh is na what is that cooh cooh is generally acid group that's why this comp this title name is acidic 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 amino acid means cooh group is maximum nh2 group is a minimum you know that very well cooh is a acid nh2 is a base so if the acid group is maximum that amino acid name is a acidic amino acid if the any one of the amino acid contain two groups of cooh one group of nh2 that is a acidic amino acid it's a clear na so acidic amino acid means two cooh groups one nh2 group is present in the amino acid that is called acidic amino acid that's why here cooh is greater than nh2 so here cooh group is maximum nh2 group is minimum that's why it is compound name or this amino acid name is the acidic amino acid example see na na glutamic acid this is a glutamic acid now in glutamic acid see na na nh2 ch cooh ch2 ch2 cooh now see here how many number of the cooh groups are present here in the glutamic acid two cooh group one nh2 group is there that's why it's the best examples of the acidic amino acid glutamic acid is the best example of acidic amino acid because of the two cooh group one nh2 group is there and one more example aspartic acid aspartic acid is also the category of the acidic amino acid because of it has two cooh group one nh2 groups so now see compound name nh2 ch cooh ch2 cooh examples are very very important and also structures are very very important glutamic acid or aspartic acid it's belonging to the acidic uh, amino acid glycine valine and alanine is belonging to the neutral amino acids what is the acidic amino acid if carboxylic acid maximum is maximum is there in the amino acid that is called acidic amino acid to at least to compulsory 2 cooh group is there okay nana this is the acidic amino acids the next one basic amino acid this three classification is belongings to the based on the number of nh2 group and cooh group already one more classification already completed based on the position based on the position alpha amino acid beta amino acid and gamma amino acid based on the number of nh2 group or number of the cooh group 3 1 number 1 neutral amino acid number 2 acidic amino acid number 3 basic amino acid now basic amino acid so here already you know that very well basic amino acids na ammonia group is maximum carboxylic acid group is minimum so that's why amino acids contain two nh2 groups and one cooh group is there here nh2 is greater than cooh ammonia group is maximum that is a basic because of ammonia is a basic group the so basic that's why basic groups are maximum that amino acid name is the basic amino acid the best example is a lysine now see here nh2 nh2 ch2 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 ch nh2 cooh here how many amino groups are there two uh, amino groups are there one cooh groups are there so the lysine is the best example of the basic uh, amino acids so these are the very very important my dear students examples point of view important and also structure point of view also very very important so in this session i successfully completed uh, protein introduction 
and uh, alpha amino acid structures types of amino acid also you know that my dear students one more example from the basic amino acid not only lysine even arginine also is there arginine i saw arginine i didn't draw in the on the board so arginine and lysine is the best examples of the basic amino acid uh, so the classification of amino acid category two classifications are completed successfully in this session number one is the based on the position of nh2 group so number two is a based on the number of nh2 group and coh2 group in my next session i will be continue third classification of amino acid that is based on the availability of the amino acids okay my dear students